It's bad enough that with a cast of dozens, only two major actors never did a film without the other. There's seriously just a single pair, Bridges and Gibson, for those wondering. But the naming conventions for this now seven-picture series is endlessly annoying. Universal Studios actually had to purchase the title rights to the 1955 racing picture, The Fast and the Furious, for the first entry in their series. In part two, they adopted a childish double numeral spelling that still makes me cringe. For the Japanese-based spin-off, the producers dropped the numbers altogether in favor of including a subtitle format that was never seen again. The confusingly titled fourth installment simply removes two uses of the the from the original title. To drive home the succinct alliteration they waited five movies to use, the fifth picture spells out the numeral, until part six brought it back. And just when I thought the series had finally reached a decent naming structure, part seven throws it out the window by stripping the word fast entirely. Seven movies in 14 years, and each and every one of them uses a different format for its title. I know it's nitpicky bullshit, but as a cinephile, these vastly inconsistent titles really frustrate me. What are they going to do next? Just combine the two words together and call 2017's eventual sequel Fate? I wouldn't put it past him. Well, thank you for indulging this quick rant. Let's